this is too far enterprises and before I go to bed tonight I had to leave you with this and I want you to understand that the material I'm about to bring to you you can thank Griok one but also nearly fuller has brought something to my mind is and is that most people will not have a conversation with a lot of black people. It's because we are simply not talking about anything. We think a lot of things are funny. We make fun of our own people. And sometimes the conversations that we have are not fit for some people to even entertain. And the reason why is the person who created and made us the way that we are do not want to have anything to do with the thing that they made because they took all your history and your culture and name and all of that. Nobody wants to hear that anymore, but after hundreds of years, you can see the damage that has been done. And I'm going to give you some poetry of the future. And it's called The Clown Gene. Be it early morning or late at night. I'll make you laugh before I pick a fight. To be medicated and stupefied with liquor and tweed on a daily basis is all I need. I'm a master of the buck jump, two-step in the jig, used as a defensive mechanism when a task seems too big. You better watch out. You better not cry. I consider it a gift the way I lie. I talk one way in your face and another way behind your back, but I will grant you immunity for a $20 sack. I constantly laugh at other people's shortcomings and I always make sure that I laugh real hard. I will harp on your deficiencies while using the race car. My main fault is that I'm often misunderstood. Even when I try to do right, it always turns out no good. Maybe it's my karma for my backstabbing ways. Worse than white folks way back in the days. I'm mentally challenged without nerves of steel. I teach fantasy and lies and make them all seal, seem real. With my little imaginary friends swimming in my head, I'm liable to do anything, and this is what I dread. I'm a black forest gump without the shrimp boat. Even if you try to drown me, I'll just pop up and float. To me, life is short, and everything is funny. Ask my best friend, my stuffed Easter bunny. Many who know me say I'm deranged and sad. The joke is on them, and I'm not all at all mad. It is imperative that I be seen. I was born with an affliction known as the clown gene. And I hope our black people wake up because this is just how people see us sometimes. We have some very intelligent and we have some very strong brothers and sisters out in the community, but there's not enough to represent and change the image that has already been actually put out there by the media that lives within inside us. So I'm hoping that we understand something and start to study how great that we can be and that we already are, but we're made to believe something else. And I, I don't care what anybody tells you you have to feel that within your soul and that comes to waking up. There's a spirit inside of you that no man can take from you because only the greatest thing in the earth put it in you, in the universe. So you don't need a mediator to talk between you and yourself because we all are gods, but this God that we are doesn't know who he is anymore. And what we need to do is wake up to who we truly are. 
And even if some people doubt that, it's all right. But we can't never doubt ourselves. We've come up from nothing so many times that it's almost like child's play. But now things are getting very serious. And we're still out here playing like we have the clown gene. We're not clowns. You know, the other day I, I had a, a little video and it was talking about in the house of the man who runs this planet, they can only be one man. Everybody else is boys. And he was referring to us, people like myself. And that cut to the quick, because I don't feel like I'm nobody's boy. But when you don't own any corporations, you don't own any banks, you don't own any land. And I'm not talking about a million dollars or these athletes money or celebrities money. I'm talking about real power and wealth. When you don't have those things, you're a boy living in a man's world. And the truth hurts. So I don't know if you have the clown gene in you or not, but please take that clown gene and lay it on the side and be everything that you are. You don't need anything else but you and to change your mind. Because once you change your mind and gain control of your mind, there's everything that you can do and there's nothing that can hold you back. Too far enterprises.